Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Gas was the hot topic during a recent gathering of Southern African energy ministers in Johannesburg. Terence Creamer joins me to talk about the deliberations and outcomes. Hi Terence. Hi Shalom. Why was the issue of natural gas so high on the agenda at this year's meeting? Well, the SADC ministers meet every year and there's a head of, um, head of state and head of government meeting coming up in August um, in Vintuk, Namibia. So these are preparatory meetings for that. And at the last meeting which took place in South Africa, there was a decision that gas, uh, regional gas opportunities needed to be unlocked. That was a decision of the heads of state and uh, government. And these are really the follow-up uh, proceedings that are now taking place to try and get the, the activity going in this area. Uh, and ahead of their meeting, the energy and water ministers met uh, in Santon this week. They had a workshop around natural gas. Uh, and there it was ready to explore what, what are the resources available and is there a market for this gas. And obviously we know so Southern Africa has got incredible resources of natural gas. Obviously we know a lot about, uh, for years and years we hear about uh, Kudu gas in Namibia and then there's, uh, there's the gas that comes in from Pandi and Tamani into Secunda um, that has been flowing for a number of years. That's from Mozambique. But there's been these, this massive discovery up in the Rivuma Basin where the resource is well over 100 a trillion cubic feet, pro probably a lot uh, bigger than that. That's a conservative estimate. And it also tra traverses into the Tanzania area. So this is a, a massive resource um, and one that we now need to look at whether, whether it just gets exploited in, the, in a way where it's exported in the form of LNG mostly to Asia whether the region can start looking at, at making, taking account or making something of uh, this gas, both in its energy and its chemicals uh, sectors. What decisions were taken around unlocking the region's gas potential? Well, the main decision really was to accelerate the finalization of a regional gas master plan. So this was already flagged by the, the uh, SADC. But I think now the work's going to start on finalizing this regional gas master plan. And they've given themselves a 12-month period to set up a draft. And obviously this plan will sort of help shape the way different countries in the region, 16 countries in all, although some of them are, are island states like Mauritius and Seychelles, uh, could start tapping in to this ga these gas resources because we've also got the, the unconventional gas resources in South Africa, potentially shale gas, quite a, quite a large resource here potentially, as well as um, uh, coal bed methane, and similarly in Botswana there's coal bed methane. So really looking at the resource on the supply side, what is potential, and then looking at market opportunities around that. And then I suppose the issue would there, a key issue there would be that the national plans of the different countries need to be aligned with that regional master plan so that it just doesn't become a, a paper exercise because unless the, the national energy plans of a country uh, take into account these opportunities, they're just going to really be sterilized or unused. How is South Africa planning to deal with the regional energy potential in its energy plans? Yes, now we, we had an interesting stage because we're a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of our energy planning. We know that although there's been massive delays in the integrated resource plan update, um, this is now coming to a head and I think in the next couple of weeks we should see the draft integrated resource plan being released. Uh, then we, that plan is going to be endorsed, uh, finalised in Cabinet in August and then we'll have certainty in terms of our, our power generation roadmap for some time. And gas is definitely going to be part of that. Now whether the, the region, full regional gas opportunity is taken into account into that plan is probably unlikely because at the same time, in parallel, we're doing a, a national gas master plan and a liquid fuels master plan. Those seem to be lagging the integrated resource plan. So we're probably going to have an electricity plan that comes out that takes account of some of the gas potential in the region. But, uh, uh, but it looks like a lot of that's going to be initially on imported uh, LNG that won't necessarily come from the region to try and unlock the gas to power opportunity in South Africa. And as I suppose the regional master plan and the South, South African gas master plan sort of are finalized, we might have better visibility of how we're going to try and tap in 
to the opportunities presented both on the west coast with Kudu and on the east coast, both with the, 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 the gas that is already flowing uh, and has been expanded from the southern Mozambique and later from northern Mozambique, the Ravuma Basin, how we could probably integrate some of that not only into South Africa's electricity and energy mix and industrial complexes because we also make uh, liquid fuels and uh, chemicals from this gas at the moment uh, in, in the future iterations. So there is a bit of a timing problem and uh, an alignment problem, but there is a commitment from South Africa's Energy Minister Jeff Kadebe that there will be an effort to align uh, these plans, noting that uh, this is a very big cross-border regional integration opportunity. This is a high priority issue for SADC because I think we really aren't taking account, uh, full advantage of the regional integration opportunity that exists. And more and more South Africa's economic outlook and future hinges on better integration into the region. This is th where uh, market demand is for our products. This is where there's a lot of pent-up opportunity uh, for South African manufactured goods in particular and for creating regional value chains. So I think gas could be a leader in terms of that regional integration objective. And I think it's going to be prioritized. So I think we're going to see a locking in of the regional, gra in s uh, the regional gas opportunity more and more uh, into our national um, energy plans. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.